What's up ladies and gents and welcome back to our trucking and stories series. We are back here with another episode. The last one was recorded before Christmas. So we have a new year. 2021 has started and started as bonkers as the last one ended. So. But hey, 2020 was kind of a mess for everyone, so maybe this year gets better. Maybe. Probably not, but, you know. That's not what I want to talk about. That's kind of controversial, so. Well, the series is for controversial things, so. Where's that? But, you know, I don't want to spoil your mood. If you're in a great mood, then stay that way. Maybe the year is going to turn out great, who knows? Nobody, right? So, what I actually want to talk about today is a short look back at 2020. No, we're not going to talk about COVID. Nobody wants to hear about that. Or at least not while watching a trucky video. But just a short look in, in general about the past year in terms of a channel perspective. And my life perspective and things that I can talk about that aren't annoying because 2020 was actually a good year for me as far as the channel goes um, I've had the biggest growth I ever had which doesn't say a lot because well the channel isn't very big but <laughs> I got comparatively lots of views lots of view time and I actually find with how it went. The Age of Empires series has really picked up. That's something I truly enjoy. The AOE 1 series that is. And I had fun doing that and I'm thinking about re-recording some of the earlier missions because the game has changed a lot since it came out on the Windows Store thing or Microsoft Store or whatever it is called. I think it's the Microsoft Store? I don't know, whatever. That store thing that nobody likes. We all know what that is, right? So, um, apart from that, not not much has happened in the game. But obviously, there, there were some quality of life functions added, some features added, and the AU One series in, in general is, is doing quite well. So maybe I'll do that. The later videos are also doing better. The Rome campaign. It seems like people are mostly interested in Rome and summon the Greek campaign, so maybe I'll focus on those again. I don't know, we'll see. But generally it has been doing pretty well, the Tropico video has continued to get views, which I don't understand because, I don't know, I didn't like Tropico very much, and it was just... Some of the videos, they, they are not even up to date anymore, I mean, I made those in 2018 and the game has changed so much since then from what I have read that some of the guide things they just don't apply anymore in the same way so that's kind of difficult to, to say. That's a lot easier when you make a guide about something like the Spyro games or Age of Empires because usually those missions are basically set and what works works and what doesn't doesn't and well but it is what it is so I don't know. Obviously, when you watch a guide from 2018, you should know, well, things could have changed since then. And then you probably should look for a newer guide, but... I'm not going to update them. I'm not in the game anymore. I have no info about the game. I'm not interested in keeping updated with the game. And it's just... Or keeping up to date with the game. So it's just not very interesting to me. So that's a series I won't focus on. The Bioing Suicide video is doing well. Still. I mean, it's probably my best video ever. <laughs> so, I hope it's doing well, but... I wonder if it did better if I gave it a more sensationalist title to frame back to my last Trucky video with sensationalism. And... It probably would do better if I, if I gave it some but suicide and bio ink, uh, I don't know, and everything in caps lock and 
I made a fancy thumbnail where someone is shooting himself in the head and I don't know would probably do better but I don't know maybe my titles are too factual I can't tell okay they are and I can tell but it's just the way the channel works so whatever I'm thankful for everyone that enjoys this type of coverage so you're welcome for videos and I'm thankful for the views and everyone is happy right what else was in 2020? Uh, I forgot about half a series I did. I did Forza, which nobody watched. I did Need for Speed, which nobody watched. Well, some of the videos, but... I started Spyro, which was alright. Some of the videos, others not. That's the usual stuff. I don't know. I'm just trying to cover different games to make sure most people find at least something. I'm sure not every game is for everyone but I'm just trying to put some games in there that you enjoy and that you can watch and if you go through my entire library or all my playlists then maybe you find something I don't know I have shooters I have horror games I have occasional let's play of something what, what I do outlast and Resident Evil. Yeah, it was the, the horror genre. Now the strategy games with real-time strategy with Age of Empires, with Command and Conquer 3 and racing games are, are in there. Some guides, Spyros in there. So I did cover a variety of games. So I don't know. Maybe I should broaden it even further or maybe I should make, make it more concise. I haven't decided yet. Maybe I keep it as it is. Just add new games as they come. Tough call. Anyway, 2020. Pretty good channel wise. Not a whole lot of good otherwise. I was moving into my hometown. That was good. Certainly feels good to be back home. So. Oh, and a happy new year. Did I save it already? I wanted to save it at the start. Probably forgot. Um, unfriendly and stuff, you know. No, I'm just kidding. I probably just forgot. Or maybe I didn't. If I said that already, then... Twice holds better, right? Anyway, um... Yeah, what, what else was in 2020? I don't even recall. It's, it's so many things. My son got a year older. I mean, so did I, but... That was hardly noticeable. With him it was noticeable. He learned walking, he learned speaking a lot. All the good stuff, you know. The joys of being a farmer. And your son starts walking and your son starts walking around and stuff. You know. Good good times, good times. Anything else? I don't know. It's winter right now, which is depressing. It's always dark. Winter depression is a thing. But we're not going to talk about depression today. It's a... Happy video, right? Well, I never make happy videos. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe I, I should. Who knows these things? This is a great landscape here. Very have a good sentence. Speaking of landscape, that was one of the great benefits of moving back to my home city because the landscape here is great. Lots of hills, lots of forest, lots of opportunities for hiking which is pretty much the only thing you can do because you know everything else is closed so you go hiking in the hills where nobody else is that's pretty good also quite enjoyable it gets your mind off of the annoying daytime things like work and making videos no I'm just kidding that's not annoying most of the time <laughs> so yeah I mean, 2020 was was all right. Lots of home office that was, or is, sometimes annoying, sometimes a benefit. It has its pros and cons. All in all, not the greatest year ever, but it has a, had its positives. So maybe 2021 continues the way 2020 ended. Channel growth would be nice if that continues. Home office will continue for a while. 
I don't see anything changing in the near future, so... Let's see. Apart from that, really not, not much worth mentioning. So, my other topic, beside this brief look back, really brief look back, um, my other topic is a little more serious. Oh, you said you were making a happy video. I lied. Mm -hmm. That's so 2020, right? Just lie to people. They're gonna believe it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, um, what I wanted to talk about was kind of the ethics behind making videos and the ethical responsibility. And I know that's a touchy topic to, well, cover and touch. <laughs> and it's not one that I wanted to cover, but recently I've seen people be so impacted by videos we're watching and by things people upload and it's just, it's disturbing to a degree how the videos they're watching and the content they're consuming on YouTube and social media and everything is just altering their thinking and their, their mind and it's, it raised a question to me How much should you think about the content you are producing in a ethical sense or in a sense of what do you want to portray to people and in a way we are all role models to someone everyone you me everyone we can all be role models if we choose to and sometimes if we do not choose to we are role models as well just because other people look up to us they look at us and they think well he's doing that i'm doing that just like that and you can see it all around I mean when, when you look at, at social media and people or people watching videos and they start using the phrases they, they hear there they start using the words they start supporting a certain behavior that someone in a video or on social media said is positive they start following the trends that are being set there. You see it all over and I never believed or I didn't want to believe that people can be influenced so easily. I just didn't want to believe that. But when I saw it firsthand and I was like, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe people are easily influenced and the things we say or do in the videos and in the content we produce has a huge impact on most people. Maybe it is a good idea that I'm not swearing so much in my videos. I mean, sometimes I do, because sometimes we do. That's just a thing. But I used to do it a lot more, and now I'm trying to limit that. And part of that is because as a content creator, you obviously function as some sort of role model or some sort of person whose behavior is out there, and you just don't want to teach that that's a good behavior. So maybe you should think about that. Maybe that's not what, what you want to present. And that's also part of the series, is just presenting opinions and, and views to kind of get some points across, to kind of... I did it in, in one of the earlier videos in the series where I was talking about online behavior, and that really falls into the same niche of just getting the point across that the things we say and do online, sometimes they have an effect. If I started swearing at everyone, who knows what child could watch this eventually and think that's cool behavior, I do that as well. And then he goes online and I don't know, Fortnite or whatever the kids play and start swearing up and down. That's not what I want. That's not an, a, a behavior I want to further support. I want to support a proper behavior. Now, I know that me saying these things doesn't change anything, but it's just a, a question that is raised in my mind where you think about what you are producing and what you're doing in, in your content. And I know it's tough because obviously a lot of people make a living off YouTube and of their videos and their content. And obviously it's tough for people because they want to sell and sometimes ethically correct things don't sell 
Or maybe they believe in the things they portray there. I don't know, I can't tell. But sometimes you do the, the things that sell. And some things sell better than others. That's just a fact. And even if that's behavior you probably don't support. It sells, so you do it. And that's probably not very good. But who am I to tell anyone how to, to make their videos? I mean, they're successful, so kudos to them. At the same time, I just think everyone making content should at least think about it for a second before publishing it. Which behavior do I suggest to the people watching it? In which way am I trying to influence people? And what really got me ticked off about this was the whole influencer culture. The first thing I thought about it was, can people not think for themselves anymore? And then I thought, well, maybe they never could. I mean, there is a reason why influencers exist. They just tell people what to do. And you see the same thing in, in, in YouTube videos. You would think there is no need to tell people to subscribe and to leave a comment and to, I don't know, that bell thing feature that people mention in their videos. And whatnot. Share, yeah, sharing. Sharing, subscribing, and what was it? Commenting and the bell thing. I don't know, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Whoops. That was a stick. Anyway, um, it just shouldn't be necessary to tell people to subscribe. I mean, if they enjoy your content, they subscribe, right? No, that's not the case. You must tell people to do that. I don't know why, but apparently you have to. And then people subscribe because we're told to do so. And that's why influencers work. <coughs> that's just the way it works. You tell people, hey, that's good, do that. And then they do it. <clears throat> and if that power is used for a good thing, great. Like, go outside and do sports and live healthy. Cool. If that gets people living healthy, then great, whatever. It's good for people, right? But if that is used in... Uh, that was dangerous. But if it's used in a corporate sense where you're kind of selling your soul and you tell people whatever just because a corporation wants you to tell that because you're paid then that's problematic then that's just next level marketing it's just hey I'm big company I'm big corporation I pay you advertise for us and that's problematic Because then you're not telling people what you think is right, but what some big corporation says is right. And I mean, we all know they're not our friends. They just want to sell their product, regardless of whether it's good for us or not. They don't care about that. So that's a problem. So really what I want is uh oh. I was looking at my ah, at my notifications. No! Ah. <laughs> that, whoa, that almost went wrong. I thought it was a one-way trip here. I mean apparently it wasn't, but Oh <laughs> I had a notification. It was important. I should look at it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I put on the, these lights. There we go. Great. I need to go left. What? Are we sure that's the correct way? I thought I came from the other side. Hold on a moment. Where is it sending me? Hold on, I'll, I'll return to it. 
It's sending me back. Look at this. It's sending me back. And then back up or what? What the hell? Yeah, I'm not doing that. Yeah, we're turning around here. Um, if I just drive in here... Great idea. <laughs> A bus. Anyway. Back to the point. If you sell your opinion like that, then you just sell out. That's a problem. It is. Because we're no longer thinking about which behavior is good and which behavior do I support, but which behavior sells. And how can I make the most money? Just think about it for a second. I'm not telling anyone what to do, just think about it. And it's something that I never realized, even when I made videos myself, I, I never really realized that that was important because I didn't think people were so easily influenced until a while ago. But they are. Content creators are sometimes like cult heroes. It's crazy. People are easily influenced. That's why the influencer scene works. That's why YouTube works. That's why advertising works. That's why TV works. They see things, they do them, they like them. And the better you sell, the more they believe it. Not because it's better, just because you sold it better. So that's, that's an interesting thing. And I think every creator on YouTube, be it big or small, can function as a role model for someone out there. Even if you only have one viewer that religiously watches your videos, you function as a role model for him, and your behavior could possibly dictate his behavior. It's the same with music and, and games to a certain extent as well. And I was never on the side of, well, you shouldn't be able to publish this music or that music because you are supporting this or that behavior. And I'm still not for censorship in that way. Because I still think you should be able to produce the content that you want to produce. I don't like censoring things like that. Because who's to tell what's right and wrong? But when I heard of a child that actually took drugs because the favorite band he listened to sang about that being good. So he did it. And I was like, what the hell is wrong with you? And I know most people won't do that. But there's those who do. And it's like, ah, that's a difficult one to tackle. <laughs> and it's just the thought that making a song that was obviously ironic was taken as a role model for doing that. That's crazy. Just use your brain for once. But I don't know, some people don't. They just do whatever you tell them. So, there are many arguments to be made for both sides. And I'm not going to give a definitive answer. What this video is for instead is that you just spend a second to think about it before you release content. Now, I'm sure some people won't spend a second to think about that. They just release content that sells, regardless of quality in any way. But maybe that behavior can be rethought a little bit. I don't know. It's just a thought. I'm just thinking aloud. And it's just... I really never considered the responsibility that, that we have in the behavior of people. Like me, not so much. I don't have very many viewers, but especially bigger channels. And how their behavior can alter how other people behave or what they find good or not good or how they help shape opinions of people just because they see it in the videos so 
I think that side effect sometimes goes a little bit under the radar, so to speak. And it probably shouldn't. So it's... I think the main thing I want to say, and um, then I'm going to call it quits for this video, is be aware that you have an ethical responsibility and a behavior responsibility. Just be aware. How you use it, I don't care. You can do whatever you want. Just be aware that how you talk, how you act, how you present yourself and others can have an effect on other people. And nobody is faultless, by the way. I did my fair share of swearing, I did my fair share of bad behavior. Nobody is faultless. Everyone has to rethink those things. Everyone. Myself included, everyone. Everyone makes mistakes, everyone shows poor behavior here and there. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying be perfect. But maybe you can improve a little bit here or there. I don't know, maybe. Just a thought, just a thought. But I think if you think about being aware of your responsibility as a content creator, that's a good first step, right? Everything else is in your hands. What you decide to do with it, how you decide to use it or not use it, whoa. To each their own. And it's not up to me to decide which behavior is good, which behavior is bad, what should be supported, what shouldn't be supported. That's not up to me. That's none of my business. And I would never claim to be the all-knowing entity that can decide such things. That's just ridiculous. So I'm just here to tell you that you should think about it. You can come to your own conclusions however you want. Ah. This bus is going to kill me. You can let me know what, what, what you think. Do you, like, I was always on the side, well, content creators, they don't have so much influence on people. People can think for themselves, it doesn't matter what I tell them. Uh, uh, I might have been wrong on that. And again, especially the influencer scene has opened my eyes on that. Like, people religiously just follow that stuff. And it's just, I don't know, they do what it's what we're told. And again, especially if corporate interest intervenes there, watch out what you're sold. That's all I'm saying. So, I hope you enjoyed it. The brief moments of near accidents, at least. And I wonder what you think about that. Do you think we should at least think about our ethical responsibility as a content creator? Or do you think, well, caution to the wind, just release whatever and let people decide what they want to watch and what not? And it's not like we're telling them to behave a certain way if, if they do that and whatever. If they follow that as a role model, that's their problem. Probably a stance to take. Not a wrong one, not a right one. There is no right or wrong here. Again, I'm not saying there is an entity that can decide what is right or wrong, but... Just considering that you have an impact on people probably goes a long way. So, yeah. Until next time with the next episode about maybe something more... No, entertaining? No, not entertaining. About something more... How do I want to phrase it? It was a bit of a dark tone today. Maybe something more enjoyable in a... Well, a lighter sense. A lighter topic. That should probably be the correct wording here. Maybe, maybe not. This is not the topic and this is not the series of lightness, right? It's a series of stories and talking about things that I don't usually talk about in videos because we're kind of 
controversial sometimes. Sometimes where to think about things. But that's what your series is for, right? So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And until next time, farewell and take care.